Hey everyone, and welcome to another installment of Tom's World. In today's video, we find ourselves in a brand new location for me to explore. We're in search of an old amusement park that used to be here in the late 1800s and lasted until around the 1930s. I'll give a history of it as I'm walking through here, but uh, we're not far from the Chamonix Falls, and um, I did some research on this. I've pinpointed pretty much where the park should have been, and I don't think there was ever anything here since then. So anything we find, whether it be you know pieces of a building or uh, just some cement in the ground would have belonged to this amusement park. It went by a few different names, but I'll get into that when I bring up the history. So with that, let's get in there and check this out. So as I said, I may have been at these particular falls when I was a kid. Not 100% sure about that, because I do know that Neshaminy Creek has a few different places where there are falls, like man-made falls. And uh, I have no idea what to expect in here. I did not come here beforehand just to explore. I'm doing it for the first time with you guys. I have found a little trail here that I'm going on, and I'm hoping this should be leading me to the falls area or at least the creek once i get to the creek i can find the falls and once i find the falls i can find exactly where that park was kind of exciting because i haven't been in a new place in quite a while actually and i see like many different trails going off in different directions so Hopefully they all lead to the same area. I figure if I keep going down, I'll find the creek. Now once I find my way to the creek, I'll give the, uh, the brief history that I was able to jot down. Um, but the history of this little area here actually goes pretty deep. It goes down, or back to uh, just after the Revolutionary War. So that's, that's pretty neat, I think. Um, and maybe I'll get into that in another video should I come back here but hopefully find a bunch of stuff and I won't have to come back I mean I can come back on my own but I don't have to make a video I'm rambling I don't know I never know what to do when I'm just walking and taking footage so you all just have to deal with me rambling either that or you fast forward <laughs> one way or another but I can see the creek ahead Whew. A little bit of tough terrain here. I gotta keep watching where I'm walking. But yeah, this is definitely the Chamonix Creek up here. And I think I can hear the falls, which they should be off to the left. So once I find them, I'll be able to pinpoint where I found that the park was. And it was a, it was a decent sized park for the time. They had roller coasters, uh, merry-go-rounds, ferris wheels. Uh, it's a little muddy, but I'm going to go this way rather than climb over. No, I'm not. I'm going to climb over the down tree. Or go around it. There we go. That's even better. Um, ferris wheels, merry-go-rounds, all different kinds of gaming stuff, like shooting galleries and stuff like that. They had uh, people here, entertainers. People used to come here by the thousands every year just to check it out all right so we're on a little sandy area here and that there is the, uh, the train bridge which if I remember the history right the railroad company were were the ones responsible for making the park just so that people would travel by train more. Wow. Big beach. Let me get down over there where the rocks are because it's just sand here and I'm like sinking everywhere I step. Yeah, I can definitely hear the falls. If this is the area that I was at when I was a kid, then man, I haven't been here in decades. But like I said, there are 
a lot of different uh, falls, at least three or four that I know of, maybe more, that uh, make up Neshaminy Creek, or that are in Neshaminy Creek, I should say. There's a lot of gnats flying around. Thankfully, I used my trusty deep woods off. Would seem that there's some kind of a company up there. I see some trucks and I can hear them. I didn't see any signs that I was trespassing. I saw signs that said that the area belonged to uh, Bucks County and that there was no hunting. But that's about the extent. That looks like these guys are going right on the edge here of the, uh, of the falls. So here are the falls. I have to speak a little loudly because between the sound of the falls and the trucks behind me, um, which I have no idea what they're doing and I don't want to bother them. Uh, they, might, they might be county workers. But anyway, you can see it's definitely man-made. And on the other side of those falls, up on the left, uh, and a little further in, is about where that amusement park should be. So somehow I have to get around these guys that are working. Uh, I'm not even sure if you can hear me right now. But you gotta figure, these falls have been here since like the 1870s. And yeah, now it's really windy out too. But I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna see if I can get to the other side of the falls over there without interrupting whatever these guys are doing here. So I'll be right back. So after looking around over there, there was no way for me to get up there without interfering with whatever they're doing. And they have like a backhoe up there and all this other stuff. So I'm gonna see if I go back to where I started here, um, there, you know, one of the other trails, if it just goes around where they are, because that would be ideal. Don't want them thinking I'm spying on them or anything like that. If any of you guys that were there working today saw me, no worries, man. Just an explorer. All right, so. I came from that direction. I see a little path in this hill up here. I'll take this up and hopefully that gets me up and around those guys. Tough getting up here. I know some of you are pulling for me to fall, but it's not gonna happen. Oh wow, look. More vehicles. Well, I'm a bit out of breath. I guess I'm more out of shape than I thought. <laughs> um, but I, uh, I didn't want to continue down this this wide road here because I assume that's how they got their vehicles down there. But there's another vehicle here, and I'm just going to go around it and. Hopefully I don't get anybody upset. So up off to the right uh, is where the guys are working. And I see this here. It's a pretty steep way down. It's a little less steep over that way. So maybe I'll do that. But then I don't know where I'm going to get up on the other side. Looks like a pretty steep side of a hill. Or not a hill, but like a little cliff or whatever you want to call it. So, I don't know. I got to figure this out on how to get across this little ravine here. And not interfere with these guys. So, instead of going down more towards the falls, I went away from the falls. Um, and I commentate this for those of you who might want to come exploring here. I just didn't want to give away the location until I got here. Yeah, that was much easier. There's, there's that ravine down there. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get here before anybody else did, so I didn't want to disclose the location. And uh, I started researching this all thanks to uh, Jack Marr. Um, which, if you're from Ben Salem and you've been on any of the pages on Facebook for Ben Salem, you know who he is. He's the uh, Did You Know guy. 
and uh, he's he's a very awesome awesome person um, all right so I'm on the other side of the ravine you can see how high up the hill is over there I was standing up down that way a little bit there seems to be a little bit of a path here sorry wasn't looking at the camera so I didn't realize how far up it was pointed there's a little bit of a path here and uh, I'm gonna make my way through it and I'm going to uh, consult my my map and see exactly where I am I think I do have to be further up this direction but um, oh well I'll check it out and I'll get back to you in a second okay so <clears throat> I didn't even have to confront those guys there was another trail that went along beside the main trail that they're on and uh, now this looks a little more well traveled here and the creek should be off to my right and we are extremely close to the little pinpoint that I put on the map so now is the time when we should be looking for anything wow it's really muddy here <laughs> I almost slipped okay now I got a bunch of leaves stuck to the mud on my shoe okay yeah so the creek not sure if you can see it there is over here the falls are down off to the right so we should be right in the area where that amusement park was so I would guess that the uh, the landscape hasn't changed that much over the years in the aspect of these big huge huge hills here um, there was no real map of the layout of the amusement park so they could have the entrance could have been out on uh, Bristol Road or it could have come right from the train station into here because that's how people got here um, in the 1800s because you know nobody really had automobiles which was one of the downfalls of the amusement park so let me uh let me see if this little trail here goes out closer to the creek since we're further away from those guys in the truck or trucks and then i can read you some of the history oh yeah past the thorns and right to the creek So anyway, the amusement park had been known by a few different names, apparently. Uh, Nishamini Falls Amusement Park, Nishamini Grove Park, Nishamini Grove Amusement Park, any variation therein. Um, it was made in 1876 by the railroad company, and they would hire world-class world entertainers, and people by the train loop would come to see these entertainers. And the wind's blowing my paper around, so it's hard to read. This place was like a mini Coney Island with a carousel, fun houses, shooting galleries, wheel games, sideshows, motorboat rides, roller skating pavilion, a ballroom, and a band shell, which is where most of the world-class entertainers performed. And they consisted of singers, they consisted of, uh, I, I believe there was one woman that was kind of like a comedian who was like risque at the time, which nowadays would probably barely be PG rated. Um, and uh, there were also some spiritual people, which, with today's language you would say paranormal people um, so you can look into that for those of my, my friends who are watching this uh, that are into the paranormal you can you can look up uh, Nishamini Grove Park and spiritual and you'll find all the information about those people uh, some of them were fakes go figure let's see um, yes it was hosted by tons of paranormal type events drawing people in by the thousands the park closed in the 1930s after the Great Depression and after the availability of the automobile. So it went from 1876 to the 1930s and then it closed down because once people had automobiles, you know, they didn't have to be hindered by just where the train went and they could go other places. So that's, that's the brief history that I have of this place. Um, now we're going to continue to walk away from the creek down this way, which is where the bulk of the park should have been. And we'll see if we can't find anything. So from this point forth, anything we see, any kind of concrete, any kind of thing that looks man-made that's in here has the strong potential of being part of that amusement park. 
Now it's been said by other people that they came in here and searched around and they couldn't find anything. That doesn't mean that there's nothing here. They may not have looked in the right places or maybe they just overlooked a piece of concrete. And even just a single piece of concrete would be evidence enough for me of what was here. It's funny, as I'm walking through, I just walked through a cloud of gnats and I had put on so much deep woods off that they just part at like I parted the sea of uh, of gnats. I'm the I'm the Noah of gnats. <laughs> so yeah, so somewhere you could see a lot. Well, maybe you can't see. I mean, I could see it with my naked eye, but on the camera, I'm not sure how it's coming through. But in the back there, there is a rather steep hill. But from there to here, it's it's pretty flat. And uh, this this is definitely the area. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, even if we don't find anything, just to have a new place to explore, and um, albeit muddy as hell because of these trucks coming through here. But um, see a like a little sewer sewer pipe that way. Granted, that could have been made since then. But we'll see if we can get around to it and uh, check it out. So far, the only concrete I've seen. Um, yeah, this mud's gonna be problematic. But I don't have a way around it. Whoa! <laughs> almost, almost. I'd have to say out of all my videos, this is the one that's going to be most likely to have a fall in it. <laughs> and just think, Neshaminy Creek, it starts there right at the Delaware at Neshaminy State Park. You know how to give a reference to Neshaminy State Park. Come on now. Wouldn't be This Is Tom's World if I didn't. Oh, see, there's a cone here. So that sewer pipe is back this way. So maybe that's what these guys are doing. Maybe they're maintaining it or something. Then again, this could be really, 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 really old. But the lid is off. And the tool that they use to take the lid off is here. So chances are that's what these guys are doing. Wow, that's really far down. I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I leaned the camera in, but I didn't lean myself in. Fear of heights and all, you know. They do kick in. All right, so we'll continue down this trail now. Uh, various different hoses laid out here, so. Yeah, I'm guessing that's uh, the water company doing whatever they're doing under here. Hopefully they didn't find anything and just discard it. That would suck. But it should be all within here. I just wasn't seeing too many paths to go into the wooded area. Might be one coming up here. And then again, maybe not. It's a lot of thorns right there. Deep woods off doesn't do anything for thorns. Or poison ivy. Long line of hose here. I think I hear more trucks up this way too. I just don't want to interfere with what they're doing. But I saw I saw old pictures, and I'll see if I can find them, um, where you could see people on the creek uh, with with like paddle boats well not paddle boats but like little little kayaks and paddles and um, it almost looks like it could have been from like right here and on the other side of the creek there was a bunch of tents set up so I guess people would actually stay here overnight and uh, and just hang out hard to imagine that even when I was a kid uh, that we used to swim in this 
I don't think I would wager to even touch it right now, although it doesn't doesn't look too bad, but there's just a lot of trash and stuff in there and you never know what you're gonna come across. And as I'm walking, I'm looking in this direction too, since I don't have to watch my footing too much. Just to see, I mean, there, there was a decent size of flat land back there, but not enough that would warrant roller coasters and carousels and ferris wheels so maybe this was just like the road back to it like this this area maybe like that was the main entrance where you paid to come in but it should be on this side of the creek not the other side at least from what i saw somebody actually showed on a map where it was and it was this side so if we could find anything outside of sewers that'd be great there's another little sewer thing down that way We've got to find something, anything, because if you haven't watched it yet, my last video, I went in search of, uh, oh, there's something up here. Um, I went in search of the day camp, Summerdale day camp over in the Chamonix State Park. And since then, I've actually uh, been consulting a website that you can, you can see old aerial views and, um, you have to pay to not have the watermarks on there, so I'm not going to show you on here because uh, I might get in trouble for having their watermarks on here. But um, you can you could do a side by side comparison, like you could draw a line down pretty much down the middle of the map and see what it looks like, say in 2017 versus 1958. And um, when when you cross over the line from one to the other, it goes into that that timeline. So I know what it looks like now over in Chamonix State Park, obviously. You, you know I love that place and I know it like the back of my hand, um, outside of getting lost in the last video. But um, for a little bit, just a few minutes, so don't judge me. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, you could see it and I could see where the buildings were for the camp because back in uh, 1958, they were functional and there wasn't really as many as I thought. And those stairs that lead to, to nothing that I said was the, the German club, it was eventually a German club, but during the days of the camp, it was the mess hall for the camp. So, uh, and there was another building in, in like diagonal from that. So uh, I do have more to check out there in wooded areas that I did not go into. So, you know, hang tight for that. There will be a part two. I just needed a little distraction away from Nishamity State Park and check out something new, but look at this. This looks like, like an entrance. And it looks old. It's like wrought iron, maybe. So you got that side. And then that side. And that, well, it's not wrought iron. It's like uh, metal wire cables going through it. And then I guess this would be the, uh, the entrance. Although it does look like there was those metal wires going through it and it was just cut. Or maybe that's just where they stopped. I don't know. But, hey. First sign, right? Sorry for the random streaks of light that do happen depending on how my camera faces. Uh, there are some cracks going across the cameras which don't come through except right there. You can see those lines. That's actually the, the cracks not on the lens of the camera, but the protective glass in front of it. And there's not much I can do until I get a new phone. This is the area that I was at as a kid. I, and you know, I just, I just realized how I know. And now, a mystery that has been since I was a kid. Like, nobody seemed to know why in the side of the hill here were all these steps. And I believe they called them 84 steps or something like that because there's 84 steps, most likely, where there was. 
and nobody seemed to know why they were there. And you know what, we'll go up them just so you can see what's at the top. The, unless it's like a private residence, then I won't show. Um, but I do remember this. So somewhere behind me, probably down further to where I started, there used to be like an old Tarzan swing that we used to swing off of into the creek. And those falls are, are an area where I was at as an even smaller child and we were barbecuing or something like that so i'm gonna have to look back at my pictures see if i can find them i'm not counting the steps by the way <laughs> if you want to sit there and pause the video and count the steps maybe it's 48 i don't know but this this was probably how people got down to get to the park but then that makes you think then if that was the entrance right there that's on the right then the park should have been to the right unless there were two separate ways to come in and it was off to the left we'll find out we'll find out let's climb these stairs and not get ahead of ourselves you can see there was a, a railing here at some point and uh, it is a private residence at the top of this and you can see the steps continue to go up and they go right up to that person's backyard so we're not going to bother going all the way up but hey man mystery from my childhood solved how about that as i'm coming down the stairs almost at the bottom another chunk of uh, concrete and uh a little dip right there in in the land just beyond that that tree in the middle of your screen so that could have been where a building was and there's no nope, i thought that was more like a big piece of concrete but it's a piece of a tree so we're on to something now how about that i actually found something there's some bamboo growing here too which is not native as we all know so that had to be put here so I mean, it doesn't look too wide down this way. Maybe it was just like, just like a, a thin, long park. There's not many pictures of it that I can find, though. Outside of like the people on the on the creek and paddling their boats, which, speaking of boats, there's one here on the left. Somebody just left here. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be ironic or, or cool? I mean, chances are it's not, but wouldn't it be cool if this was one of the boats that they had here? Looks like there's some writing on the front part. Let me go check that out. Okay, now I seriously doubt <laughs> that this was from back then because it's a Coleman. Coleman Ram X, something on the end. I can't see it. So, okay. There goes that idea. Would have been cool though. So the trucks that I was hearing up this way are actually on the other side of the creek. So they're probably doing something to help prevent flooding for the future. Um, but the more, the more I go along here, the thinner this little wooded area gets. So unless it opens up again, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and assume that it was, it was back that way. And that it just wasn't as big as they made it appear. I mean, maybe the roller coasters, the air quote roller coasters that they had, maybe they were just small. Maybe the, the merry-go-round was small. Maybe the, you know, be careful in here. <laughs> you know, maybe the Ferris wheel was small. There's some kind of structure ahead. Don't know what it is. So I'm going to turn you off until I get there. It could be private property. If it is, I'm going to stop and turn around. Some really, really tall bamboo in here thick too okay so that is definitely private property I checked the map um, it, the the landscape only gets thinner and thinner up that way so this was this was pretty much it I guess um, 
I mean, maybe they had things on the other side. Uh, and somewhere up further past that private property, there's a little island called Nishamini Island. Um, God knows what was on that, if anything ever was. Just looks like a heavily wooded little island. Some like two by fours or something, just or four by fours sticking up out of there. Didn't notice that on the way in. Maybe, maybe that had something to do with it. I mean, I would think if it did, that wood would have been long gone. So, probably not. It's cool to imagine, though. Yeah, there's there's definitely a lot of uh, pieces of concrete in here. Um, you can see one there in the middle. There's a round one right here, like a cylinder shape. And little chunks all around. So, I mean, it's possible. There's a cinder block. Fancy looking one. See if I can knock it over here. So you can see the shape of it. I mean, that could have been something from the house up there and they just threw it down here. Then again, it could have been something from that park. Until I can find pictures of the inside of the park, we're never gonna know. But I'm not gonna stop looking. In my spare time, I will be looking for anything I can find about this park now that I know about it. And um, as I mentioned earlier, I have been doing some research of just the area itself and that it goes back to just after the Revolutionary War by a guy whose last name is Hume, H-U-L-M-E, which may sound familiar because not far from here is Humeville Road and the area of Humeville and stuff like that, all having to do with this guy. Uh, you can look him up. I forget what his first name is because uh, I just kind of happened across that this morning. So there's the steps. So I guess people would come in from that way. And this was the entrance. So if we could ever find pictures, or if anybody can find pictures of the park, and like maybe an entrance, maybe, maybe we could see this and maybe even see that rock there. But now I'm gonna be looking even more diligently off to the right as the land gets a little wider up here just to see if there's anything in there outside of the uh, sewer drains or whatever you want to call them, the manholes. Yeah, you get a closer look at these rocks. Pretty cool. Don't normally see rocks this big around the area unless you're in the wooded areas like this. But we're looking for anything I mean, we, we've already found stuff, so, you know, that's cool. We found the entrance, or one of the entrances. We figured out what the, what the steps were that I've, you know, a lot of people didn't know what they were. It's uh, pretty marshy right here. <laughs> I'm stepping on pieces of wood just so I don't sink in there. Just so I could get across here because this dumps back out onto the main path again. This is just like a little trickle of water coming through here that keeps it all marshy. As I just sunk about an inch and a half into it. Because I was too busy looking around instead of where I was walking. Let's see see something I don't know if it's just a rock or concrete yeah it's just a rock damn I thought maybe we'd find another piece and I can hear animals running from me throughout the whole time I've been here as long as they're not running towards me we're all good Oh, there's something over here. 
Don't know if it's old or modern, but it's metal. If anybody knows what that is, just let me know in the comments. Let's see what the other side looks like. There's stuff over here too. So that could be like, uh, I don't know. I, I That could be anything really. Could be a piece of a ride. We could be looking at ancient history here. Then again, it could be something modern that they used to flatten out the land. Cause you can see in the side, there's like a hole there where you just put, yeah, that's probably what it is. Never mind. We got some other stuff over here. Don't know what any of this would be. That almost, I don't know. It's an air conditioner. Can't tell. I don't think it's an air conditioner. I don't know what the hell it is. I'm sure somebody out there does. But there is pieces, old pieces of metal too, which that up there is probably part of this thing. And there's something there with dials. I can't tell. Almost looks like a, there you go. Almost looks like a piece of a stove. So there you go. That was probably the oven. And these were the dials from it. And that I have no idea. And another little piece of something here. All right, back out on the main path. We were just back that way. And uh, I guess this area off to the right must have been where all the games were and the amusements. It's hard to imagine though, this being big enough to attract thousands of people. And on the other side of the creek, it looks like the hill just goes like straight up. Well, not straight up, but pretty much. But uh, so it couldn't have been that there was stuff over there. Had to all be on this side. It's crazy. See, so at this point from the main trail, looking back to the hill, you can see it's getting further away. So like I said, these uh, these roller coasters and carousels and Ferris wheels, they, they just may not have been that big. And I'm sure that pretty much none of these trees were here. And if any, very few. But I know we're getting a little closer to the falls again because I can hear them and the other trucks. And there's a path that goes off this way. I think I went that way. That's where I saw the first, because uh, of the cone there. Or, yeah, that's where I saw the first manhole sewer thing that I came across. So we'll look for a different path going that way. Since we didn't really do too much of that when we first came in this area. And this, right back here, seems to have the most land until the path up here turns. So we'll see if we can get in there somehow. And now I'm back at that mud where I almost slipped. So of course I turned the camera back on because now I'm going down instead of up. And uh, look at this. <laughs> it's like suction, suctioning me to it. So let's go around this way. A little less moist. I thought that was going to be a way in. There does seem to be a little path going from this side. We'll check this out. Yeah, a little bit. That doesn't go very far though, huh? 
have to start going over things. It's like a deer path, sort of going this way. Ah, screw it. I got the deep woods off on me. Only thing I got to worry about are the thorns. And it's fine when they hit my jeans, just not my shirt. So the thorns and the spider webs. That's all I really got to worry about. Some napkins. I'm just scouting, visually scouting to see if there's another path to get me in deeper here, or at least something that's passable. Spider webs all over me. So I'm sure that most people do not come back this far into the wooded areas. They probably just stick to the paths. And it's like a flat area here. And you can see where the hill starts. But it's all flat around here. So this very well could have been where something was. And you know what? Maybe, maybe here, like just theoretically, like here is where the, uh, the clamshell uh, uh, concert place could have been. And there could have been seats going all the way up this hill. Very possible. I've seen that. That's usually the way they're laid out. So this very well could have been that. I don't know. Again, I need I need help finding pictures of this place. See if I can line things up just with the landscape. Pretty open back here, though. We'll look around a little bit. Yeah, I could almost imagine, like, seats going all the way up there. And it does kind of have a curve going around this flat space, which would also be the layout of seats around, like, a clamshell uh, concert place. Like a, like a half circle of the hill. We may have found it. We may have found that, anyway. And they would have had the, the clamshell up that way. I'm not seeing really any concrete. I am looking very diligently. But the concrete from that could be could be quite a ways underground here or it could have crumbled into nothing like you can see all these little rocks here which could be could be concrete kind of looks like it we may be looking at the only thing that's left of the stage Conveniently, there's another path going out this way. Still searching the ground. And walking into spider webs. As per the norm. And over in that direction not seeing anything that's weird right underneath my index finger started burning I thought I just got bit by it, something but just my body being weird I guess then back out to the main path yeah so we, we may have found where uh, where the stage area was. And they, they had people coming here that were drawing people here by the thousands, supposedly. All different kinds of people, singers, musicians. I mean, it was jam-packed with people who were popular, people who came from England and stuff like that. And they, it would draw them all in here. I'm not going over that again, because there's a path around it. 
I may have to, because it looks like there's water at the end of this path, which would be worse than going over the mud. But, I thought I'd come back this way too. I did not come this way. Trucks have been here, I can see their tire marks. We'll see if there's anything back here, any signs of what used to be. Another path going up to the top of the hill. Little trail going back to where we were over there. Don't really see anything there. It's weird, the roots almost look like they tried to make steps on their own. But there are a lot of these little flat rocks. Could have been part of something. See one right here. I mean, it could have just been where it split, but maybe somebody split them and they were part of something that was right where we're standing. Could have been the ground, you know, like the like they mixed those rocks with concrete, make it look decorative. Anything is possible. All right, so the main trail is out that way. This one, obviously trucks have been down. Or not trucks, but vehicles of some kind. Wow, that's muddy. Uh, we'll go around it a little bit here. Gotta do some ducking, that's okay. As long as we get around the bulk of the muddy part there. Take a few thorns, that's all right. So I just passed by those guys in the trucks again. Nobody said anything to me, thankfully. And uh, going around them as to not disturb them while they're working. Pretty sure this is the path I took in. If not, well, I guess I'll find out. Yeah, I can see the, the beginning of that little ravine or whatever you wanted to call it that I was at. So I'm gonna have to go around that again, same way I did. And get myself out of here is one of those uh, holly trees or whatever they are that they have over in, well, pretty much every wooded area in the area. Um, and I gotta get back across the ravine. I don't remember how far down I went. I guess I had to go pretty far down. But it looks like it keeps going. But I can get across over here. And work my way across. I'll go down a little bit further. So I don't have that steep of a hill to go down. Should be able to get back up pretty pretty easily. Looks like anyway. I will have to say though, I mean, it was, uh, hey, we found some stuff. We possibly figured out where that uh, little concert place was. And I just scared off a couple deer. My fault. <laughs> like, come on, let's get out of here. That's Tom's world. We don't want to be on the camera. sun is really really bright even when I put my sunglasses on it does not help 
There they go. Yeah, I definitely did not come down this far to cross that little ravine. Because I'd remember this pile of stuff right there, but oh well. I still got to cross it. I just got to get up here, make a left, and go down, and we'll take one more look at the falls. Maybe. Depends on where I come out of here. I mean, this, <clears throat> this being my first time being here since I was a kid, I don't know my way around in here. I'm actually uh, gonna check the map right now and see where I am. So as I'm walking back, I couldn't help but notice there's a wall right here uh, made out of those flat rocks and uh, cement or mortar or whatever. And you can see it goes down quite a way. And um, just being that it was made out of those, those stones makes me think that uh, this could have been part of that, that park as well. Now let me get down there and see if I can get a closer look. There you go. Now you can, you can definitely see it. It's just made of rocks and mortar or cement. And it goes down kind of far. And behind me, or rather to the side of me, you can see what's left of one pillar here, another one right here, swing it around, there we go, and there is some cement, so this could have been the area of another entrance, or maybe, maybe it was tied to those steps, maybe there was just, was just like a long path to go down when you came in from the train. And, and look, I was standing on a wall too. So, yeah, I, I mean, very, very possible. Then again, this could be the remnants of some, some old home that was here as well. It's really, really hard to say, not knowing too much of the history. I mean, it wasn't due to lack of research, just lack of information online. And I did just see one of the guys backing his truck up from down there. You know, he was nice, said hi. So, we've possibly found another part of the history of this place. Very, very cool. Heading back down to that beach area. Um, pretty sure this is the hill I came up where I was out of breath. Not sure. There's plenty of them here, so take your pick. <laughs> but I definitely came in from these trails when I was trying to avoid the initial trucks that I saw. But I probably went up that hill just to get around the guys that were doing the work. There's the, uh, the bridge for the railroad. No idea how old that is, but it looks pretty old. Let's see how close I can get to it. All those gnats. My deep woods off must be wearing off because they're coming closer to me now. So there's the, uh, the old bridge, the very same tracks that used to bring people here by the thousands. See what's, what's really cool to me is uh, I'm 46 years old. I've lived pretty much my whole life like a spit's throw away from Ben Salem. Have spent countless days, hours, nights, months, years in and out of Ben Salem. 
And now I'm starting to find out some of the real history of it. And I, I'm loving this. I think whenever I do finally make it back to the Ben Salem Historical Society, this is another place I'm gonna ask if they have any, any info on or photos. I've been meaning to go there, however, they're, they're, they're only ever open two days a week and I always forget. But I have a lot of reasons I wanna go there. I need to talk to them about uh, a different location that does house some of the Logan's belongings. And I'd like to get there, check it out. In going there one time, I actually did get to see a clock, a wall clock with a pendulum and everything that belonged to Robert Logan was in the house. And I got to touch it, you know, that's cool. I was like fanboying about it. But uh, yeah, I'd like to see more of their stuff, connect with them a little bit more. I don't think I'm gonna get too close. Well, maybe if I go around this way, I can get closer to the falls. But it'll be a little tough to hear me, I would assume, just like earlier. And these guys are probably up there working, thinking, what the hell is this guy doing? It's the second time he's been here. Saw him walking in the woods. Then again, maybe they know the history of this place. Who's to say? So, here is the falls. And where they're working at, incidentally, is, uh, is where pictures of me as a little guy were taken. You couldn't really see me. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> you couldn't really see me in the pictures. My back was to the camera, but um, if I can find that, maybe I'll put that up here for you to see. But it was over there on the left side where, where they are. Because I, I remember what the terrain looked like. And where they are looks more like where we were. It just is a bit more overgrown now because I was probably like six, maybe five, somewhere in there. Anyway, there's the falls. One of many. All along the uh, Chamonix Creek. And now we'll make our way back. And as we get further away, and you can hear me better, I can now say everything I need to say to wrap this up. So, um, the uh, fundraiser for Sorobia Garden still goes on. If you don't know what Sorobia Garden is, go to my channel, check out uh, all the things about the garden in the Chamonix State Park. That's Sorobia Garden. Throughout my videos, I do give little bits of history about the people that owned it, Robert and Sarah Logan. But the fundraiser for the other volunteers and I, uh, and I, <laughs> to, to keep going and, and adding stuff to this place and fixing it up and making it more of a beautiful place once again, that's still in full force. So you will be able to find the link for that in the description of this video. And uh, there's also some historical information on there as well, plus a link back to my channel. And uh, you can learn all about it. And uh, if you can't give and you enjoy the garden and you would like to see it improve, you could always share out the link. Sharing out the link helps a lot and uh so yeah go check that out and if this is your first time here make sure that you hit the subscribe button and once you hit that make sure you hit that notification bell next to it and select all that way you'll be sure to be notified as soon as i upload new videos i will be hitting new places quite often in the near future just like this one 
A lot of them are probably going to be around uh, the Ben Salem area. However, I will be traveling around a little bit and uh, be getting footage of different places. Uh, probably be down in Maryland sometime soon. Maybe get some footage of stuff down there. There's a really, really cool town near Baltimore uh, that has a dam. And the entire town is just so cool looking. I can't even begin to explain it to you. You've got to see it for yourself. I forget what it's called. Stephanie would know. So, Stephanie, you can comment. Say what the, the name of the town is because I forget. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, uh, make sure that you do subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It means the world to me to get thumbs up and positive comments, which I've got nothing but, and I love it. And if you ever see me out and about and making videos, don't hesitate to come up and say hi. I'm a friendly person. I love talking to people. Love making new friends. So uh, with all that said, I'm going to find my way out of here, which I know isn't real far from where I am. Once I get past this mucky stuff. And uh, I'm going to get home and start editing. So I will see you all. Whoa. <laughs> Almost caught a slip there, right at the end. Holy crap. Okay. As I was saying, I will see you all in the next one. Make sure that you stay safe, stay healthy, and take care.